Hello friends, Tony here. Now here I am logged in with this user and I just created a task. We have this notification task created and the list updated immediately. Okay, now I want to show here the count how many tasks this user has. So let's open the VS Code and I'm going to open the tasks list class and here I'm going to add count to be out user tasks count. Good. Then open the tasks uh, list blade and display that. So I'm going to display it like this total tasks and in the span I'm going to add the count here. Good. Let's save and let's come here and refresh. And yeah, we have a total tasks one. Let's create a new task, submit task created, the list updated, and the count updated as well. Good. But what if I want to create a component just to render this account? So let's do that. Let's open the terminal and let's say uh, PHP artisan make colon live wire. And I'm going to add this inside the task directory and let's say tasks dash count like this. Hit enter. Okay. Now let's cut this uh, here and I'm going to render that component. So let's say live wire tasks dot tasks count and let's add here uh, the count. I'm going to inject the count here let's say dollar sign count and let's close that yeah let's save now let's open the tasks count and I'm going to paste that code we had close also let's open the tasks count class and just create the property so public dollar sign count okay good like this and now if I open the browser and refresh I have typo here like this refresh yeah now we have tasks too but when we create a new task what do you think is going to update the count here or not so we just injected the count from the task list in this component and what is going to be updated this count so let's take a look if I click the submit the task created the list updated but the count is not updated and if you go to nesting component in the live wire we have here a reactive props so developers new to live wire expect that Props are reactive by default. In other words, they expect that when a parent changes the value of a prop being passed into the child component, the child component will automatically be updated. However, by default, live wire props are not reactive. Okay, you need to know that. So, live wire props are not reactive by default. Now, but if you want uh, or need a prop to be reactive, you can easily enable this behavior using the reactive attribute parameter. And here we have an example. So the parent injecting a to-do count uh, component and passing the to-dos here. And then add the reactive attribute the property here and let's do the same in our case so what we need to do is to go in the tasks count class we have a public count property and let's add the attribute which is the reactive attribute and we need to import that so use liveware attributes reactive just by adding this let's save and let's see in the browser now so fake filler, submit, now task created and 
we have total tasks for here. Refresh again, submit task created and task file. So this is how you can add the reactive, how you can make the prop reactive. But you need to know yeah, that the reactive properties are an incredibly powerful feature, making Livewire more similar to front-end component libraries like uh, Vue or and React. But it is important to understand the performance implication of this feature and only add reactive when it makes sense for your application scenario. Okay, friends, that's it what I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next video. All the best and don't forget to subscribe, share and like. All the best, friends.